Hello and welcome to Inside EVs. Today we have a really fun one. We are drag racing a Tesla Model 3 performance on studded winter tires against an electric snowmobile. Let's talk about this and uh, it's gonna be a pretty interesting video. This is the Taiga Nomad. It's actually the slowest Taiga you can buy. Not to say it's slow at all. This thing still rips pretty hard. We have a couple advantages here for the snow. First of all, rather than four round tires, we have a 154 inch track and however, it's quite down on power. This makes only 90 horsepower, but keep in mind it weighs almost nothing. Now our competitor to the Taiga is this Tesla Model 3 Performance. You guys may have seen this in other videos we've done, of course. This is my Tesla Model 3 Performance that we have just piled the miles on. It's got about 86,000 miles over a year and a half of ownership. And we are running the best, uh, most aggressive snow tire setup you pretty much can get on a Tesla. We have Martian MW03 lightweight wheels, which you guys are all familiar with, of course. This is an 18 inch uh, combination. Then we have the brand new, and I don't even think released yet, Nokian Hakapolita 10 EV. It's an EV specific snow tire that's studded. Now the studs aren't really gonna help on this powdery surface that we're gonna be drag racing on. However, the compound of the tire is designed for some pretty harsh conditions. So are the four tires and 450 plus horsepower uh, gonna help against the 90 horsepower machine with a really long track? I think it's gonna be closer than you expect. Let's see. So my friend Drew is gonna be driving the Tesla and uh, you know, take care of my baby in here. That means yeah. full send and if you hit a tree, it happens. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so what's what your, yeah, what's your setup for the car gonna be? Track uh, mode, obviously. Setup, I think track mode um, on really loose surfaces like this, I think 50-50 uh, is, is the right way to go. And so 50% much... power front, 50% rear roughly, Exa or balance, I guess it is. Yep, exactly. And then, uh, yeah, I think... Uh, traction you know, control off. Traction control is as off as possible to give as much spin as possible. Um, that's about it. Okay, cool. Tire pressures are set around 40, which is low yep. enough to give you a little extra advantage, too. Sure. Because Let's I think see. the car, especially on these snow tires, probably wants 44, 45. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Well, so. let's uh, let's get the snowmobile set up and seriously full send this thing. All right. All right. You know it. <laughs> so, Alyssa, how are you going to be setting up the Taiga? I'm not driving this. Oh, thing. okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, guys, Taiga makes this the Echo, which has up to I believe 160 horsepower, and the one that we're drag racing only has 90. The thing is, I wanted to do the slowest Taiga against the fastest Tesla. Of course, this is all surface dependent, but also huge weight uh, advantage here with the Taiga. So let's see how it does against the Model 3. We'll see. I don't know. Drew's going to be... He's in some deep mud over there. <laughs> now, you guys know everything there is to know about Teslas. Let me tell you a little bit about this uh, Taiga. Come on in here. First off, we need to talk about how you charge this thing up. Well, similar to a electric vehicle, you have a J1772 NCCS port. This particular one is the small battery pack at 20 kilowatt hours, and uh, it can do 40 kilowatt DC fast charging, which is pretty good. All thermally managed uh, liquid cooled battery pack and uh and motor as well no need for an ac chiller here though because you're riding in snow so there's cooling fins that run down the whole plate here and then it circulates coolant throughout very similar to uh like a skidoo or other combustion sleds pretty neat uh, now, in terms of driving modes and power, this particular one, again, is the slowest Taiga you can buy. It's still really fast. Uh, and it's 60 kilowatt output, which is about 90 horsepower. There's two driving modes in this one. There's like a eco mode, which will limit your power and top speed for, for cruising. And uh, especially if you're on a tour and you're hosting, you know, new riders, it might be a good mode to get used to riding an electric snowmobile on because tons of instant torque. And then this one's going to be driven or drag raced in its normal mode. Now, come with me over this way because there's also an Echo that I showed you here briefly. The Echo over here has a sport mode that does not come on the Nomad, and the sport mode here will unlock in this particular one 120 horsepower. Again, you can option up to 160 horsepower in these and two different battery packs for every sled. The 20 kilowatt hour that's in that Nomad and the 25 kilowatt hour that's in that Echo 
the one in the Echo can DC fast charge at 50 kilowatts, which is just insane. Uh, pretty cool, and that's of course peak speeds down low, but still neat to see DC fast charging on sleds. You know, ski mountains have three-phase power running up and down for all the snow machines. They can install DC chargers, little 50 kilowatt units or 24 kilowatt units pretty inexpensively and uh, have their whole fleet electric. I think that's such a great idea. Let's line these two up and shred them uphill on snow and see who wins. Drew, tell me if this is a fair comparison because you're kind of on a mud bed underneath here. Yeah, not even close. Not even but close. It'll be interesting to see just how far uh, ahead the Taiga is. Well, you're just uh, going to stay in it for a long time. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah full yeah. rally mode. Right, sure, yeah. Yeah, well, once we're up over 150, I'm sure I'll pass them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, well, it, it'll be one of those races. And we have a slight incline here. Not much, but enough to make a little bit of a difference. Yep. Yeah, I think uh, traction's going to be key. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Wow. Three, two, one, go! It doesn't happen often, but you know, today today but how, how'd you think that actually the hack of did now because there's mostly mud yes that was a, a deterrent do you think it would have been faster on hard packed snow uh definitely definitely yeah so this is uh this is just really loose you know soft wet surface so it's just spinning well uh, i think we can officially say impressive. the slowest taiga is fast faster than the fastest model three sure with an, yeah. With uh, an asterisk. With an asterisk. <laughs> <laughs> the real drag race would have been to have this on pavement. There you go. Or dirt, and then the snowmobile on snow. Uh, yeah, we should we try should. and recreate this next season when Absolutely. we have more time. Yep, for sure. Cool. Guys, we totally realized the Model 3 was not at its best. On pavement, though, it'd be really interesting to see the difference. If you'd like to see that, we can definitely arrange for that next season. Just wanted to give you a taste of these sleds at the tail end of the snow season here in Colorado. With that said, we had an absolute blast riding the Tigas for a day and even got some rally time in the Tesla Model 3. What a good time. Thanks for watching.